Oh. All right, Pastor Mike here with here with my good friend Bob Marford. All right, uh, you know, as much as a lot of people think I'm trying to kill Safe Harbor, I'm not. All right, uh, I think uh, Dr. Marford. You just want to move faster. Huh? I just wanted to move faster. I wanted it yesterday. All right, and. Uh, the things that uh, I fault Dr. Marvin for are, you know, this elastic timeline where there's a lot of, uh, you know, necessary government functions. That we're talking about permitting. We're talking about uh, new construction. Uh, contractors got to pull permits. And, and uh, now, you know, I found out that the site is... Uh, mitigation of wetlands, it's got to be raised six feet to build on it. So there's not going to be an opportunity for me to get my pole barn out there during construction. All right, so, so that even makes it even more important that we push for a temporary solution within the city limits of Daytona Beach, and that is a tough thing to do. You know, but <laughs> Bob's going to do what the politicians are, you know, will let him do. He, he's here just to say, all right, if you want a so short-term solution, I can show you how to do that. But there has to be the political will to do that. Correct, Bob? Correct. Right. <laughs> yeah. But the big thing, think about where we've come in the last four or five months. Okay. We didn't have any land identified. Right. We had no construction money identified. Right. We had no sort of policies, procedures, agencies, partners. All of that has now been worked out. We're now down to one last issue, and that's the operating fund. And so, you know, when we started this about five months ago, none of those checkboxes were filled. So, you know, I, I frustrate because, you know, I opened Safe Harbor up in, in Pinellas in under 10 weeks. That was an existing uh, building. Yeah, we had an existing building, and it goes faster uh, when you have an existing building. Now, the disadvantage of an existing building is this what you got is what you got. You yeah. know, some of the things we've talked about, that building not as soft as you want it. You know, place a, the, 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 there's a lot of rigidness in the building structure that doesn't allow us to move around. So this allows us to build a better place that will be more functional, more useful, and hopefully more successful. And so there's an upside of being able to design from scratch. It's a trade-off. I, I agree, but that, that, that does increase the timeline. Right. Oh, it does. It, it does. does increase the timeline. And the more you have government you involved, the more there, there's more. And, and we have 16 governments involved, 17 governments involved. So. Right. Well, I'm concerned with one government, Thank you, and, sir. That's, Thank you. and that's the government of Daytona Beach. Okay. The point in time count uh, <laughs> says that there's 777 unsheltered people right now in the county. Right. All right, that's so about what, that, that's close to my number. Yeah, all right, that close to your number. number. Right. So nice my question My number had, what, 680 when you had it, 680, 690, so that's real close. Real close. Well, my question is to the mayor and city commission of Daytona Beach. Mm -hmm. Okay, is you that? You have to ask them. Of, I'm not the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> of, 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 that, of that number, 777, would you be willing to take responsibility for 100 people and give me 100 beds by Christmas? Will you do that, Mr. Mayor? Thanks, Bob.